So this is my 2022 breakdown. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've got up to this year in a few videos and a few pictures. Red carpet ready. So this is where I got my prom dress from. You and a Love Islander. I found this one of me and Lucas. You and your boyfriend. Here's a picture of me and my boyfriend. 17th of Feb. All I found for 17th of Feb is this picture and that's actually my boyfriend. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually gonna do something that has been kind of asked, but I really just wanna do it again because I did do it a few years ago and I thought, why not do it again? I think I don't last year and the year before now. Um, but I'm actually holding you up by three different bum bum creams. So hope it's a good angle. But today's video, I'm actually gonna be doing a showing you basically like a breakdown, show me a picture of slash video of my 2022 i'm going to show you so this is my 2022 breakdown i'm going to show you guys everything that i've got up to this year in a few videos and a few pictures so i've gone through and kind of screenshot my best asked questions i think and shown you the pictures with them starting off someone said fave memory of summer 2022 personally for me i have to say my favorite memory was probably sundown um it was so good and like the atmosphere there was so good i was with my friend scarlet talking to scarlet she just texted me and it's just a really really good day um both days was really good but the first day was really really good because we had like the whole day there more than the second day we had to leave early which was really annoying but um no it was so good it was like literally the funnest thing ever <laughs> Someone said Christmas, so I found just this video of me opening presents and me and my nan got the same present. Doesn't it? But I'm gonna do a what I got for Christmas soon, hopefully. But yeah, here's just a video of me and my nan um on Christmas morning opening the same present. She got me it and she got herself it and she even wrapped her own present, which is just so cute. Someone said favourite holiday. For me, it's hard because I went on two holidays this year and then I went to Centre Parks, but like actual abroad holidays, I went on two. And I can't lie, they was both really, really good. But I'd have to say, just for like how good it was overall, I'd have to say how amazing. Oh my God, I just realised I ripped it. I'd have to say how amazing Dubai was. We stayed in a hotel in Ras Al Kamar for most of it, which is like this really, really random place just outside of Dubai. And we was there and it was just like the most nice, chilled, relaxed place I've ever been on this earth. Because obviously like in Dubai, it's quite busy. There's a lot of people, but where we was, it was completely quiet. There was only a few people from our hotel and like we had the most chilled out holiday ever. And it was amazing and I absolutely loved it. A concert or a festival. I thought I'd just show you a video of me at Jingle Bell Ball. Here's me with Ellie. Um, I actually thought this is a good idea because it's kind of known as a festival, but it is actually a concert too. I'd, I'd say it's more of a concert. It's not really festival vibes, but it is really, really good there. And I definitely recommend, and I'm probably going to go next year. It's a really good day out. It's just fun. But I did have to miss the Euros, which was a proper big letdown. And I was really upset. You at your happiest? I'd say probably. <laughs> this picture is so ugly. But this is really my, like, favourite prime time when I was in Spain. I was just really happy. I didn't really have many problems. And I was going to, like, the nicest restaurants every night. It was just really fun. So I'd say probably Spain. Someone said you on Halloween. So basically, on Halloween night, I'd done nothing. Um, I actually did meet one of my friend's little sisters because she was a follower. Um, so I went and surprised her for her birthday. But other than that, I did nothing. So I thought I would show something Halloween-y. This was me at a Halloween party from before Halloween. But here's a picture of me and my boyfriend. I went as Harley Quinn and he went as the Joker. And yeah, this is us on Halloween. <laughs> well, not actually Halloween, but like I'm going to pretend it was Halloween, so... Yeah, it was Halloween because Halloween was on a school night. Like, what the hell? Oh, I'm so tired. You can't tell. 
a time you felt grateful i'd say for me a time i felt really grateful would definitely be um when i went to top fest i feel like top fest is just a really big like eye opener to how many people actually follow me because obviously i see you guys that you come up to me in public sometimes and it's really really lovely to meet you like that but when you see like a can like a, a massive group of people that follow you it's like what the hell like i, I don't actually believe i do have 2.3 million on tiktok like it doesn't feel real to me even how many subscribers i have on here like it doesn't feel real and when you see numbers you're like what like how is this real I really yawn so much in my videos, I need to stop. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Talkfest was just a really, really big like eye opener and I was just like, what is going on? Red carpet ready. So this is where I got my prom dress from. This isn't my actual prom dress. No one knows my actual prom dress. I haven't shown you it. So people are always like coming up to me, like friends especially, and they're like, oh, I like your prom dress. I'm like, that's not my prom dress. I haven't posted my prom dress anywhere. No one knows what my prom dress is other than Kirsty and the workers at Red Carpet Ready that had to like help us get it all ready. And then also my mum, my dad, my nan, my sisters, and then a few friends. But honestly, not many people know what my prom dress is. It's a very big secret. Someone said your favourite photo shoot. I said this year's been quite quiet. I haven't really had many photo shoots. It's just been kind of dead year for photo shoots, really. I haven't really seen many. So I have to say the one that I put on the screen now was really, really good. Fun photo shoot. I loved it. It was with Danny Levi and Alex. Oh, no, Alex. Alex was there. He didn't do the videos. It was a girl called Jolie. And it was just a really nice photo shoot. We got some really good portfolio. You at the PLT headquarters. Here is a video of me at the PLT headquarters. I was actually doing a video for the advent calendar, which was just a dream come true, honestly. Like, I love it. So, yeah, there's that. You and a Love Islander. I found this one of me and Luca. So, basically, fun fact is my manager, is her brother is Luca Bish. So, she owns my management. She's the most successful woman I've ever met. She's a queen, honestly. And she actually owns my management so she's kind of my manager and then her brother is Luca from Love Island he's such a nice boy I met him when I was at the IV in London with my manager he came in and said hello with Gemma's brother I know they're not together anymore but he's also really lovely um but that's Luca obviously and I absolutely adore Luca I think he's such a nice boy he's just exactly how I thought he'd be to be fair they did portray him to be really nasty on Love Island which I didn't like at all because because I know his family I know that he's a nice person and he's not how they made out to be and like you're in a light like everything is overwhelming because you're in such an intense environment no wonder he has arguments with Gemma and stuff and whatever you and your boyfriend here's a picture of me and my boyfriend and I actually got him that central tracksuit for Christmas from ASOS so shout out to them Um I bought it but yeah <laughs> here is the picture of me and him Okay, someone said first date with your boyfriend. So I actually thought about this kind of deeply and was like, hmm, do I even have a first date? And yes, I do, but it wasn't really a date. Me, him, my friend Scarlett and his friend, we all went for Anando's um, and then we just walked around after and then ended up going back to his house. But I'd already met him tons before. Like this boy, me and him have been friends for years. Here's us when we was at Nando's. Um, and yeah, it was nice. You at Arsenal. I found this picture of me at the Europa League game with my friend Luke. I was like, Luke, get a picture of me. And he was like, really confused. But um, yeah, when I was there, it was just a really, really weird atmosphere. Because I feel like Europa League games aren't very good at the Emirates. And the away fans are always like mental. Like, actually crazy so it was actually really fun to just see like the away fans see how good their atmosphere is like genuinely the stadium was shaking because of them not because of us and someone said oh no i've already done that one i'm gonna find a few more and then i'll be back with you guys hey this is a little bit later on i'm actually in my arsenal um hoodie that i got for christmas that i actually forgot to put in my Christmas routine, uh, Christmas routine, well, I got for Christmas, but I'm gonna finish this video off as I didn't actually get to finish it and I just had a lot to do, but I'm back to finish this video and do it properly. So, the last row I was gonna do was you at a party. So this was me at Rosie's Rose Fest, I'm pretty sure she called it, and it was a really, really good party. And the DJ was well funny, we had like, her actual DJ and then this little, like, not little boy, he was actually our age, but like, he was just quite small. He like, was doing the DJ there because it was quite funny. So, um, yeah, that was nice. I went to Rosie's party. I've been to quite a few this year, to be fair, but I don't really have that many videos from them. So, there's a picture. You at your worst. Um, this was me like three weeks ago. Um, I spoke more about this the other day, but I've actually gone through a really, really like, 
dark stage in my life that I haven't really experienced as of yet but I had a really really bad few weeks um, and finally I'm kind of out of feeling like that but it was just really really hard and I just had a lot going on and I just got really overwhelmed and Ellie was round and something happened and I just literally sobbed to her and she's literally like my bestest friend when it comes to crying like she's just the best she just knows how to help me you at netball here's a video of me at netball I was fuming because it was losing so badly. The last picture you took, um, here's the last pic I took. It was just me in bed like, like that. <laughs> 17th of Feb. All I found for 17th of Feb is this picture and that's actually my boyfriend. But this is before we was dating. I don't know why I even went to this party but it was like a little party and I went there and I saw him there. And yeah, that's my boyfriend. That was before we was dating though obviously. And yeah. I think that's all. But basically that is my show me photo of. A lot of them was just the same repetitive stuff like show me your boyfriend, show me a picture of top vest, whatever. So I think I kind of balanced out and showed you everything that you guys wanted to see. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see for the new year. Anything that you're looking at that you've seen other influencers do that you think um, Amy should do or just anything that you think I should do this new year. I definitely have a lot of very exciting things coming up that I'm so excited to show you guys like something massive that's coming out hopefully on the 1st of Jan um, but to just talk about that is going to be amazing I'm so excited but yeah thank you guys for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next video bye